the relationship that I have with the university is through the Minerals Education Trust Fund and when we have our university visits once a year we've been coming here and we've heard about the Virtual Reality Centre, we've come upstairs, we've watched where the building is, is taking place and tonight it was to finally see it mm -hmm. and I think um, everything we expected has been exceeded. I think as a teaching tool it's going to have tremendous value in future to give people a sense of what a mine looks like before they get there and then at least they're in a semi-familiar environment and they will cope better with what they see. I think we will get safer um, because we'll be able to test our designs before we construct and uh, my hope with it as well is that once we've constructed because there is always an opportunity or a chance that you will deviate from the design in the construction phase that you're able to survey the, the constructed, the finished product and you bring it back and simulate it and see what the impact of your deviation from the design will be in, in terms of slope stability or underground mining stability. For me the most important thing is that I hope that the, the youngsters of today, that the bright brains who are currently sitting at school and wondering what career they are going to choose, and they will see this facility and they will see South African mining is ready to, to share its dinosaur skin and go into a new era where we actually embrace the technology that we have uh, today. Yeah. That is my hope uh, with this, uh, this facility. I thought it was an absolutely fascinating uh, experience. Mm -hmm. I think that this facility as it stands today can make a huge difference in modernizing the South African mining industry and also making it one of zero harm. Mm -hmm. Well, I think what it does, it's going to give mining engineers a leap start. I mean, I'm a mining engineer myself, and I remember how long it took before you could start visualizing the plans and, and underground and seeing things in three dimensions mm -hmm. and really getting to feel how everything fitted together. Mm -hmm. So I think what you're going to start seeing now is that mining engineers are going to come out with, you know, they're going to be years ahead of uh, previous mining engineers. Mm -hmm. And I think also you're going to start being able to see the visualization of things that you're planning. I think there's going to be massive improvements in safety as people will be able to start seeing some of the, the concepts that they're designing. I think that's the kind of thing where, where this technology mm. gives people an ability to see what will happen. Mm. And for, you can in, induce failures and you can induce all sorts of things where they're not going to harm anybody. Yeah. And so that way I think we're going to be able to take our training of the people who work you know, at the sharp end, at the, at the coal face. We're going to give them ability to see in 3D the kind of things that, that, uh, that only come with, with lots of experience and, uh, and with quite a bit of technical knowledge. I think that's where the big, the big benefit of this kind of technology is going to be. So it's, it's, it's very real because I think we've seen 3D in movies but with this one, the first thing that I saw, the images actually pop pop into your space. So you actually feel like reaching out and touching the things that you're seeing. So it's very real and it's very it's very big. It gives you a true sense of, of how big things are and a true sense of, of, of whatever it is that they're trying to explain to you. Instead of having to always imagine things that you haven't seen because when you do go for vac work, there's some things that we're exposed to and because of time, other things we're not exposed to. So thanks to the to the uh, virtual center, real, virtual reality center, all these things now you can see them before you go apply the theory. Because a lot of the time the problem was having to imagine something you've never seen before. So this now bridges that gap of having to imagine everything else and then uh, having a reference to use. It was really great, it was exciting. I've never seen anything like it before. It doesn't even compare to 4D. Really seeing what happens and not looking at 2D pictures but seeing the real thing and also the consequences if you do something wrong. Thank you.